If you were with me in my previous video, we created an entire game using Claude's artifacts, and this was the game we created. In this video, and I'm doing this intro while playing the game, so that's pretty cool. In this video, though, we're going to go ahead, and I just lost. We're going to go ahead and create an entire website landing page, get the source code, check it out. This video game, we got the entire source code. Now, let's get the entire source code for a website landing page. I think the last time I was pretty excited about a new artificial intelligence update was probably the GBT store, was probably GBT4. This new update from Anthropic is extremely impressive. Like this got me excited for AI again, and it basically refreshes what we've seen in the market in the past couple six to eight months. Now there's been a lot of transformative stuff when it comes to AI image generation, even as far as video generation, but there seemed to be lackluster advancements when it came to really pushing these prompts and the outputs to the next level. No, I'm not sponsored by Anthropic, but what I will say is these artifacts are pretty, pretty cool. And that example you saw in the beginning of the video is an example of an artifact. What artifacts allows us to do is a ton of stuff. The first two videos I'm gonna do on them is just to show you how to do code to UI. So this video, let's do this website landing page and first understand how to enable it. We're gonna go ahead and come down to our profile. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna go feature preview, simply hit on, and we're gonna go. Let's create a landing page today. To begin, let's give Claude Sonnet some context. We're gonna say we are creating a landing page today in React. Let's do one based on a new product, which is a an 8-bit picture. It's worth $9.99 and it's instant delivery. I could give more context here. We have artifacts enabled. Let's hit enter. We are starting to generate some code here. This is how it structures its UI here. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink down a little bit. We'll have the visual aspect to our right, and then we'll have the let's talk to it to our left. Now, I could easily see this in the future being kind of like a GBT UI where basically we could create specialized version of artifacts to do whatever the heck we want. In this video, we're just checking out making a landing page here, and we already got pretty far here. This is giving me like Stripe vibes. To be honest with you, I actually want to test something real quick. Notice how there's no image. I'm going to give it a publicly available link to an image and see if we can actually grab that. I'm gonna come over to some test data here that should all be publicly available. Let's find out. It is not, let's make it available. This is all test data anyway, so it's not that big of a deal on my end. When it's done here, we're gonna go ahead and use this dog's face as the image test. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a copy of the link, copy link, I'm gonna say, use this image as the product image. Let's see if this works. I don't think this is gonna work. I'd be actually very impressed if it does work. Okay, it does not work. That's out the window. It will work though if you grab the code and then import it that way. To roll back what I just did right there, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the initial prompt here, ask another question. Okay, let's make the color of this landing page pink. Hit save. Let's roll back that mistake. Generating code, build out a website in five minutes. So we got our pink landing page. Let's go ahead and have it create an image that we can use, but with 8-bit. Create an image for the product, but use 8-bit design and have it be a dog. Question in the comments, if you had to choose between getting a dog or a cat, which one are you gonna get? And then once you know which one you're gonna get, what breed are you gonna get? What? Okay, we'll take it, Claude. Claude's on it might not be an artist here, <laughs> but we'll take it's 8-bit. I'm gonna go ahead and say, add this to the landing page. I cannot spell. Now this is cool. So we got our 8-bit photo, is 9.99. Maybe it's an NFT, buy my NFTs. Uh, you probably heard that before in 2021. Some of y'all are like, I'm never touching an NFT again. <laughs> and then some of y'all are like, check out this NFT that just got released. Okay, uh, side note, side note. Now let's go ahead and see if we can take this further. We got a landing page here. Obviously we can do more work. Let's see if we can actually make a second page when I click buy now. When I click buy now, can we have a pop-up for the user's email? We won't get difficult here. I'm actually curious if it's able to implement like layering into this logic here. Would y'all buy this dog for 99.9? It looks like it lost a dog. Let's go and see if we can do pop-ups though. Ooh, we can do pop-ups. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and add the dog back though. And there we go. Now this might not look amazing. It probably would have passed in like 2001, but this is the idea here, y'all. We're getting to the point where we can automatically code out an entire landing page and just do it through completely talking to an AI model, which is super cool. So if we wanna take this one step further here, we can copy the code like that, 
or alternatively download the actual file. Once you download the file, you can open it into a software like VS Code and you can see everything it has here. Start playing around. So that, my friends, is why we're probably gonna do more videos on Cloud Artifacts, so make sure to subscribe here so you can see what else we can do with this really cool new tech that just landed in the markets. Check out my video showing you how to create a video game with it. Yes, a video game. Guess how high of a score I got in that game right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Corbin, you said you made a video game with this? Yeah, in like under 12 minutes. Pretty cool. These are random videos off your clicks. This is my face, and I'll see you in the next video.